Hi, I'm Steve Gill with your daily video notes report for September 7, 2011. While President Barack Obama gets ready to deliver his big job speech, this will be about the seventh or eighth big speech he's given, and it looks like it's going to be more of the same Thursday night. A $300 billion stimulus plan. Oh, wait a minute. We're not supposed to call it a stimulus plan because Nancy Pelosi finds that term objectionable because the last stimulus plan, $1.2 trillion, didn't work quite so well. So whatever they're going to call it, the president is going to basically lay out the same scheme. More spending, spending more money to pay people to not work, and more of the sort of shovel-ready stuff that wasn't shovel-ready and didn't turn around our economy. Now, the president's speech couldn't come at a more troublesome time for him in the poll numbers. A new Washington Post ABC poll shows that 53% of Americans disapprove of the job that President Barack Obama is doing overall. Over 60% disapprove of the job that he's doing on the economy. Now, keep in mind that the Washington Post ABC poll is tilted strongly in favor of President Barack Obama. The poll overpolls Democrats by about a nine-point margin over Republicans. That's right, despite talking to 9% more Repub Democrats than Republicans, the president still doesn't fare well in this poll. And it gets worse. This is a poll of random adults, not registered voters, not likely voters. So with a nine-point advantage for Democrats, among folks who are among the least informed and active politically, the president still has 60% approval for his economic policies and 53% disapproval of his overall policies. It gets even worse. Two-thirds of the people who voted for Barack Obama think the country is headed in the wrong direction. That's right. Two-thirds of the people who put Obama in office now think he's got the country headed in the wrong direction. Can he turn it around with a speech? I don't think so, but we'll watch Thursday night and see what he has to do. I'm Steve Gill. You can find out more at gillreport.com.